cable cast on. So I've just got some um, scrap yarn here to show you. I'm going to make a slip knot in my yarn and put put it onto the um, left needle. Okay. I am then going to take my right needle and we are going to, first of all, put the needle into the stitch as if to knit, just in the normal way. Wrap the yarn, pull the stitch through. Again, this is absolutely normal so far as if you were knitting a stitch, but it stops being what you're used to here. Pull that loop out a little bit because you, you want to um, have a little bit of play with it. And then what you're going to do is give it a little twist so that you can get your left needle behind it and through into that loop. And when I take my needle out, give it a pull, we've got two stitches on the needle, okay? So now I've got two stitches on the needle and I'm not going to knit into the stitch again. I'm gonna put my needle straight through and between the stitches. So if you can see that, it's just going between the stitches. It's not going to into the stitches if to knit as I normally would, it's just going straight through and between them. And again, I'm going to wrap the yarn around and pull through a nice big loop, give it a twist and get it onto that left needle. Okay, one more time. Go through the two stitches, wrap around, pull through a decent sized loop, give it a little it's kind of twist so that I can get it onto the left needle and that is all you do for cable cast on for as many stitches as you need. Now I am doing this at the very beginning of a piece um, but you could also do this at the end of a row or beginning of a row of a piece. So I'm going to work a few rows and show you what I mean about putting it, uh, using it in you know at the end of a row where you've already got some some things worked. Right, I've worked a few rows of stockinette stitch here now, so you've got, you can see I've kind of got a little piece of, of knitting happening. And um, my pattern, if my pattern calls for me to cast on a few more stitches, let's say I need to cast on five more stitches here, this is how I would use cable cast on in that situation. So I am at the beginning of a row here, um, a knit row, and I would do exactly the same as if I was casting on from nothing, which is to say I would get my first uh, my needle in my first stitch as if to knit in the normal way wrap my yarn pull a loop and then just slip it onto the left hand needle right so that's one extra stitch cast on from this point i would go into sort of cable cast on proper which is to say put my needle between those two stitches not into a knit stitch as we normally would actually between the two stitches wrap pull my loop through twist it and put it on my left needle. So just exactly the same as you've been doing right at the beginning to cast on from nothing. Through stitches, I can't remember how many I said, five stitches did I that I wanted to cast on. So I've done one, two, three, four, and again through between those two. And that's my fifth one. Now if I just stop and show you, you will see that my knitted piece is intact and I've now got kind of a little arm coming off this side. Now all I would do is I would knit into these stitches and carry on knitting um, in the normal way. So I'm just knitting into there. If you were doing that at the other end, obviously you would purl. So you, you know you know which stitch you need to be doing at that point in time. But I'll show you. We'll go along and we'll put some on the other end as well. Okay. So you can see the five new stitches there at the end um, work completely normally. So if I'm um, casting on on a purl side, exactly the same thing, exactly the same thing. Um, you don't do anything differently. So you're still going to go in and knit that kind of partially knit that first stitch. Then put your needle through between the two. Carry on in the normal cable cast on way. Four and five, I think we've got there. Two, three, four, that'll do, won't it? So now all I would do is purl the other way across. Okay, I think mostly I've been asked to do 
backwards loop at that end of a row, but this one works just as well. So I'm going to purl back across. You will see those stitches get incorporated in in a very sort of seamless way. Let me just get across here a little bit. I'll just stop and show you again. Absolutely no problems with those new stitches. So there we go. Cable cast on.